Forages are crops, three forages, grasses, legumes, and non legume mushrooms and shrubs. Who knows what a legume is? I'll give me an example of one. Beans. Beans. What do you know about what you know what a legume do? It fixes nitrogen in the soil and it provides a lot of crude protein. So it is our protein source as farmers, right? Non legume shrubs and trees, we'll talk about that. Um, this is grasses. You have the volunteer grasses and you have the improved grasses. The volunteer grasses would be like your typical grass that you see outside in our natural environment. Your guinea grass that you might see on the roadside. Your coastal Bermuda that you see grow everywhere, especially in those high salt areas. Coastal Bermuda does good in saline soils. Your brachiaras, on your way, to, on your way here, I'll show you see a lot of brachiaras and guinea grass on your way. And Seymour grass, that's the one with the, like a broom. You know that one? Look like a broom at the top. Like wings on the top. Then you have the improved grasses. This is what the researchers them now go into the lab or in the field and do their breeding work. Like the mulatto series. Anybody know the mulatto grass? Have some seeds here. The mulatto is a brachiaria. Improved. You have, I know about three of them. You have the mulatto one. You have the mulatto two. And you have the mulatto cayman. I know that dairy board. Mr. Maya is here from Dairy Board, this young lady here from Dairy Board. They are pushing to farmers now these improved grasses. The Guinea grass Mombasa, which I can, which I can testify is a very good grass. Crude protein level is very high, it does well on each shade, very drought tolerant. And it actually reproduces like every six weeks and get a good cutting from it. Six weeks cutting interval. The King grass. You have the Mott Dwarf elephant grass. You guys know the elephant grass grow very tall. You see them on the gully sides inside, we have a lot of water. You have the mott dwarf grass, which is an improved one, very short, more foliage. You see it out there in the thing. Tifton 85, we have that right there also. But as you see, you can select your forages. If you want to go the improved grasses, that's supposed to give you more crude protein, might be resistant to certain stuff, compared to your volunteer grass. Depends on you, what you have and what you can utilize. All right, the Mombasa is just it's a hybrid. It's like a cross. Like how we say we want to cross the growth and create hybrids. This is a cross. It's an African cross. It's a good grass though, compared. Just a little bit more nutrient value, a bit more digestible, and it can handle shade pretty well. So you normally use this in what you call the civil pastoral systems where you have more trees. You will use the guinea grass, Mombasa, as the grass under the undercrop. But we'll talk about that. And um, then you have your legumes. You're trailing. Like your Siatra, your Centro Sima, your Clitoria, your Blue Pea, and you have the Cannavale. We'll look at these later down in the field. Then you have your trees and your shrubs. Your good old Lucina. Your good old Gyricidia. Who know what Gyricidia is? We call it Quick Stick or St. Vincent Steak. I don't know what you guys call it in here. You know it? That you put in your fence line. Gyricidia. No common name. Gyricidia. All right. And the Moringa, which is very popular right now. The trees, the leguminous trees, excellent palatability. Balanced chemical composition of protein, moderate tannin content, we we'll talk about this, that promote bypass protein value and drought resistance. If you realize, when you have a drought, all your grasses below dry up. And if you look at the trees, they're always green. Um, this is what you call the Moringa oil cake. This comes from the seeds itself, when you're extracting the oil, it's the leftover. Very high in crude protein, very high in fat. Your non legume shrubs and trees. You guys should know these. Mulberry. Everybody have mulberry back home? And your trichanteria. Everybody have it back home? Very high crude protein. 21%. Lovely. It's better than concentrate. We actually did a research with the mulberry and proved that you can use mulberry up to finishing. At finishing, you want to add a little more, con you want to add more some grain to help make the meat quality better. But you can feed your animal on hay and mulberry, but straight up to finishing. No concentrate. This is very digestible, good amount of protein. So when you talk about feed and the cost of energy, that's why I say we can use techniques like this that will still make my production be not me I give a boar better than your own native. Because we can use simple methods and still get good meat, more meat than what you can achieve as output. That's really my concern with the natives and certain markets. Then you have the grass legume combination for pastures. Like this is an example of a Sriracha mixed with Pangola grass. This offers more total digestible nutrients. 
you have more nutrients provided from a pasture in this combination compared to one with straight. Okay, it's a mix. But you have a limitation. An animal might prefer one grass over the other. And he's going to go in and he's going to eat what he likes, especially goats that are very selective. They'll go in and they'll speak on the legumes alone, nothing more, and leave the grass there for goat and then might kill it out. So you might, it's really a management issue when you're doing a combination like this. Um, recommended forages produce large amounts of biomass. That's all we need. We need volume. Right? Like a king grass. Or you can use a combination like this at Mr. Marcus and they do a lot in St. Vincent. They have the guinea grass in one row, the mulberry in one row, guinea grass in one row, leucine in one row. So when they cut, they get a ration formulated with both energy, protein, different forages with different digestibility. So this is a system that I think I would promote to the average farmer that do a combination like this. It helps for the bank style.